What's up boys, today we have a redemption arc. Something you would see out of an anime or something. A few days ago, I reviewed a match from a viewer named Derpyface420, and it was one of the worst killer performances I have ever had the absolute displeasure of witnessing. Ever! The match was so bad that I puked in my mouth four different times while witnessing it, okay? But... Something has changed. So I told Derpy Face to redeem himself. I told him to send me a match once he's gotten better, so we can see him improve. And he did exactly that. Derpy Face is no longer the man we once thought he was. He's gone through a transformation, oh god, a character, not just character development, this is character transcendence. This is a whole different being. He got married, settled down, had a couple kids, he started going to church, he quit his meth addiction. I mean, he's really, really shaping up. So at the start of this match he sent me, he plays back my own video where I'm reviewing his match where I go off on him for bringing the perk Thrilling Tremors, and he did not take too kindly to my advice. Let's watch, let's watch how he reacted to that. First of all, Fuck you. Yep. Yeah, he's tough to quiet kills. This dude is taking on the challenge. Hey, 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 hey! I always respect one to take up the challenge. Alright, I always love it when somebody steps up to the plate! Let's see what he can bring to the table. He has Trapper on Ormond, and his only perk is Thrilling Tremors. Instantly trapping the inside of Shack window. Oh, he's he's taking my advice, dog. Nah, he's taking my advice. I love to see. Oh yeah, this is good. This is good. All right, he's moving over here, rotating over here to collect the next trap. Let's see. Is he gonna place it? Oh, he's gonna place it on that window. That's good. Oh, yeah, don't take that chase, you son of a bitch! I tell you, get established. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Oh my god! Wait, he's learning! Oh. <coughs> Jesus Christ! <coughs> like, a <coughs> hamster pube stuck in my throat or something. Dude! Wait, this guy's actually- So we're in copper. Okay, yeah, uh, we are actually playing in Ash right now, like there's no way. Uh, derpy face! This cannot be high MMR, what are you talking about? Avoids the stun with the trap placement, love to see it- Wait, that was a pretty quick generator. This may be mid MMR. This may actually be a mid MMR match. Wait a minute now. Takes window. Nice. What are we gonna do with that trap dog? We're just gonna walk around with it in our hand all day? Other hand on our freaking nutsack? Or are we gonna uh, put it down or something? Or are we just gonna get looped all goddamn day here? All right. A bloodlust down. Hey, not, not to, it's a down is a down. Is that for the people buckle up? Son of a bitch. Yes, it is. Oh, these boys came to game. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. Oh, this is gonna be a freaking good one! I actually have no idea what happens in this match. I'm very excited. Avoids the sun once again. Wait a minute. Derpy Face is actually on fire here. Holy shit. Call an ambulance. Derpy Face is on fire. Get stunned. Big time stun. Where are your toes at, bud? Nancy getting cocky. Nancy's getting cocky. Did a little spin a spin, spin a rooski in your face, dude. She's not taking you serious. You need to let your nuts hang, Derpy Face. You need to let your goddamn nutsack hang. You still have yet to place this trap, dog. We have a total of three whole entire traps placed on all of Ormond right now. We need to, like, start placing traps around the map. What's he saying? Wait, what did he say? What did he say? My fault, my fault. Yeah, it is your fault! As le at least he's taking blame, though. At least he's... You know she's on the... Yeah. Boom. Come on. Come on, dog. At least he gets rid of God Palette, dude. This chase is taking too long. You need to start getting on generators at this point, dude. You're dedicating way too... If this team is... Efficient whatsoever on generators. You're getting cooked here. There's no way there you need to get on generators You need to place traps. You need to what are you doing? Why do you still only have three traps? Oh. oh my oh my god Oh my god, oh god, oh god, no derpy face. No oh. Come on derpy face. Come on. Don't place it there. Okay, I mean sure I guess I mean that's just like a really easy pallet to play around they can only use the pallet once, but they can use the window over and over again. That's why you trap windows before you trap pallets. At least he gets the down. And he gets a trap, and if they free themselves from that with the purple add-on, which I doubt they know about, boom, they're gonna be down nice. Wait, wait, they haven't they haven't freed themselves yet. Maybe they're actually privy to the purple add-on. Holy shit. 
Holy shit, they're actually privy to the purple add-on. They got the save. Great way to counter it. That's another gen down. You're at two generators and your only perk is Sterling Tremors. Holy shit. Wait, is he getting cooked here? What am I witnessing? What am I witnessing right now? What's happening? I thought this was your redemption. What is this shit? Wait a minute. All right. All right. Wait, what's the, what's the play here, Derpy Face? What's the play here? We need gen pressure. She stepped in a freaking RNG trap that got reset with the Eerie add-on. Oh my god, I'm actually laughing my ass off right now. This is an absolute bot that just doesn't know how to use their eyeballs or something. All right, go ahead, downer. This is an easy down, but what does this really do for you? Does this girl have a hook yet? I'm not sure. I, I don't think so. Wait, is this your second hook? Oh my god, this is his second hook with two gens left. Due to an RNG trap that automatically reset itself. Derpy face, ah, this was supposed to be a redemption match where you show me that you have followed my advice and that, uh, you know, you make something of it. What the hell is this shit? I'm, I'm gonna try not to freak out. Obviously, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to keep my composure, but, um, dude, you have to put the crack pipe down, all right? You didn't follow my advice. Why are we not trapping that pallet behind you? That incredibly strong pallet. Why are we not trapping that? Why do we have, like, no traps placed around the map here? I mean, the only traps that are reset are the ones that are RNG traps, but, like, you didn't place those! That's just the, the, the add-on is doing the work for you. You need to start placing your traps. Boom, I voice the sun. That's good, that's good. At least he has that trick down. That's good, that's good. He basically has built-in enduring. All right, that's good. That's good. That's how you trap her, baby. That's how you trap her. All right, he has that trap. Good, 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 good. Nice. You should have more traps around here. She can't use that pallet. She can't use anything over here. She's running to a death trap. This is down. I believe this girl's dead, right? I believe this girl's dead. Yeah. Quit. Weak. Oh yeah. You love to see it. How has no generator pop yet? What What are these survivors doing? They're literally jerking each other's meat in the freaking corner, dude. What are they doing? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell he's a viewer. You can tell he's shop to your boy. Okay, so he knows which generator they're on or trying to work at least because Thrilling Tremors did not block that one. So that means somebody was on it while that girl was picked up. That is actually not her death hook. She's not out of the game yet. So um, they're still uh, still in it. To, in it to win it, baby. All right, that's a pre-run. She's gone. Uh, it's going to be really difficult to get this save. I think the Shack on Ormond is probably one of Trapper's best positions on any map in the entire game um yeah it, it's such a strong position you can create such a massive dead zone especially with that big hill there you can create such a massive dead zone where you basically can guarantee that somebody is going back on a hook and if, especially if you trap it like that look up dude at least he did that that's good that's good you know they may just reset that as soon as you turn your back so they're gonna be able to escape boom all right nice nice Perfect. Then no one. Okay, it's the reset the trap. I called that. Boom. They're gonna run out of there. She's probably gonna try base kit BT blocker. But oh wow, they're actually coordinated. This is good. But he's going for the correct person. Nice, nice, nice. The closest person in the most compromised position for the people. Buckle up. Holy shit! I'm actually about to freak out, dude. I'm. You please kill these people. Derby face. Do not let this team win, dude. That would not be proper quiet kills fashion to let this goddamn bitch ass team win dog you have to do it for me you have to do it for me at least oh my god she's a goddamn bot oh my goddamn you got cooked oh my holy shit you got cooked oh my god you got freaking fried nice that's good that's good that's good that's good that's good that's good try to go for the pickup but he broke the door instead by accident that's bad all right generator oh there's one generator left is this girl even dead on hook is this her first hook second hook i don't even know i'm not even keeping track anymore wait this game is actually really good this is a really good match remember he only has one perk and it's thrilling tremors oh, wait a minute now this is good nice only her second hook though only her second hook come on come on derpy face come on you got this i believe in you all right, sorry, he has two people injured. That's always a good thing. They're going to spend some time healing, which is all time now on a generator. Then they have one person that's not uh, injured yet, so that's actually really good for them. All right, so she gets herself off the hook with, I'm uh, assuming, deliverance or something because she has the uh, broken status effect. Wait, she doesn't anymore. I don't know what that was about. It was, like, for, like, two seconds or something. Okay, let's see. She's camping that pallet. Okay, she actually could have ran you there a little bit. She could have bought a little bit more time for her team. You still have three people injured. This is very winnable, but you need more traps. But it's whatever. It's whatever. I'm sure you can pull this through. They're not really... They don't seem good enough to like pull a win out of this shit oh my gosh he's a bot good job hey what what that's what i'm talking about nancy what oh yeah oh yeah talk shit now derpy face talk shit now come on come on now i want the now now i'm rooting for the survivors come on come on nancy drop that shit rotate oh why'd you rotate that way though nancy you have a whole empty tile back there wait did she just break her ankles Oh my god, and the body block comes through by Rebecca. Oh my god. Oh, this is good. 
Where's their den pressure though? None of them are on generators right now. None of them are healing. They're not doing anything. They need more gen pressure if they want to beat you. Oh my god, Nancy, you bot. Oh my god, Nancy, you bot. What are you doing? You have a whole... It's whatever. It's whatever. Okay, so Nancy's dead. Nancy's dead. Nice. Some generators get blocked if they're healing, but they're just laying on the generator. He knows that because Thrilling Tremors did not block this one. They, their gen pressure is just so dog cheeks. Oh my god. Jesus. You deserve to beat this team. This team's just not good. Come on, boo. Nice! That's what I'm talking about, baby. That is what I'm talking about! Alright, just stay on her shit. Honestly, actually, no. Maybe circle back to the generator. I mean, dude, if you get her on a hook, the most you, they can... You're gonna walk away with a tie at the least. So, you basically, you're in a really good spot here. Everybody's injured. They're not even healing. This is pretty good for you. This team could have cooked you if they healed more. If they were more on top of either healing or on top... Oh, my God. Adrenaline right in your face. I know you just shut your pants. Oh, my God. I know you just dropped the fattest, steamiest, stinky dookie in your drawers when you saw her pop adrenaline. Boom. That's a hit. She's gonna run into a trap. She's 100% gonna run into a trap. Oh my god, do, do they actually escape? Wait. Oh my god, they're total bots! I've never seen something so goddamn stupid in my life. Bro, they actually just don't use their eyeballs. Wait a minute, they just don't use their eyeballs! How do you fo- the biggest late game fold I think I've ever witnessed. This match was absolutely hilarious. What even was this? What even was this? Close that shit right in front of her. Close it. Nice. Nice. What a match. Give her one more. How do you miss that? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyways, um, this was a good match. I enjoyed this. To be fair, though, what are you, what are you talking about? What did you say? Huh? Speak up, you little shit! Speak up! No, this was good. This was, uh, this was pretty good. Let's. Oh, so they were actually bots. Oh my god. Okay, we have to. Okay, excuse that. All right. So he did well here. He did very well. Okay, I liked what I saw, kind of. I'm not gonna lie, some of these RNG traps kind of carried. But to be fair, they did have for the people buckle up. And you did get Ormond, and you did only bring Thrilling Tremors. So, you know, I have to give you that. That's really good. That's excellent. Excellent job. Excellent job, Derpy Face. Um, about your trap placement, we just like didn't get properly situated in the in, in a proper amount of time. That's that's the issue. You didn't get situated quick enough. I mean, <coughs> for <coughs> how long throughout this match did you just have? Like, I think you got more downs or more traps with RNG traps that just automatically reset themselves with your eerie add on than you actually got by once you placed. What? Like, brother, what happens when you don't have the eerie add on, though, is my question. You know what I mean? Like, the Eerie add-on is probably his strongest add-on. I love the Eerie add-on. Y'all know I love to run that add-on. It's really good. It can easily just snag you basically a free freaking win if, if just the RNGs, right? If, you're luck if the luck is in your favor that match, it can get you a win, dude. But I want you to get established without the add-on first before using that because what happens is it's going to... This add-on is going to basically fill the holes in your game. You know what I mean? Like, you're not, you're not getting better at the fundamentals because your trap placement was still poor that's the problem here now yes you did walk away with a win but it easily could have just not been a win if that idiot didn't step in the trap at the end you see what i'm saying here do you see what i'm saying and that was an rng trap thing that i don't believe that was one you even placed right no it wasn't was it i don't know if you placed this one and if you did she easily actually could have just ran around that so even if you did place this one that would have been a bad trap but i'm pretty sure this was an rng trap i'm not sure though either way it's poor trap placement um Overall, I mean, you you you're, you've definitely improved. I'll say that much. You improved from last match we saw. That was th this is 100 true. You have made progress, and that I am proud of you for. Good job. But I need to see more trapping. I mean, you're you're getting like you're kind of just like leaping into chases that are are lasting way too long. Like you don't know when to break off a chase and start addressing generators because you were at what two or one gen left with what a hook or two. 
I mean, we should never really be in that position against survivors of this caliber. You know what I mean? Like, these just, like, they, they, these were bots, dude. I mean, these were bots. I mean, yes, they had for the people buckle up. They knew how to use it. But, I mean, they just, like, you did a good job playing into their altruism. I'll give you that. That was good. You played into their altruism, which was very good. Very good. Yeah, this was actually a good save here. This was a good save. That was a, a good extraction. You know what I mean? They got that person out the basement. You don't really see teams do that very often. Like get a successful basement save. I'd say what the survivors did wrong is they weren't. It, it was between two things. Either they need to lean hard into the altruism body blocks and be on top of healing so they can keep up the body blocks the for the people buckle up, etc. Or they need to lean hard into the gen pressure and just gen rush you out of here. But they seem to be like split between both worlds and it ended up just kind of like biting them in the ass because they, they kind of like spread themselves too thin here. Um, but I, I need you placing more traps like you, you slap three traps down and you're just like, OK, I'm good to go. And then you're like chasing Rebecca around here for like nine hours with the trap in your hand as she just w repeatedly window vaulting in front of you. Like, bro, put the trap there. And then when you finally do trap, you trap the pallet instead of the window. But once they drop a pallet and you break that, it's gone. But they can use a window over and over and over again. If they're really good, they're always going to be able to just like outplay you on it. You know what I mean? It, it, especially if you don't know how to play that window. So put it on the window, get the pallet out the way. And now what do you have? A dead zone because the window they can't use. The pallet is gone. And what do they have now? They can't run to shack because that would be trapped. If the, and if you have other traps in this area, which you need to build a trap web, you'll have a completely, uh, just a complete dead zone. You see what I'm saying? It'll just make this whole area obsolete because you have traps everywhere. But that corner of the map wasn't trapped. You didn't trap this pallet over here on the big truck snowmobile thingy. You barely trapped main. You didn't trap the god pallet at main. You just ate it. I mean, what are we doing here? I mean, like, yes, you won, but I'm still seeing many flaws in your game that we need to work on, Derpy Face. But did you improve from the last match we saw? Yes, you improved. You did, right? But there are still flaws that are, I'm pointing out here. I'm not saying this to attack you. I'm not trying to be mean or attack you. This is just the way I, you know what I'm saying, the way I communicate. But hmm, this was good here. That was good. That was good. You, 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 you did well at some of these mind games, I will say. You definitely did well at some of these mind games. But you have to keep in mind, like, what happens when you get the high MMR survivors? If you trap like this against high MMR survivors, I'm telling you now, they are going to beat you 9.5 times out of 10, 100%. You need to get more established around the map. You have the eerie add-on. You can slap traps wherever the hell you want. They're going to stay armed unless someone is dedicated to disarming them constantly throughout the chase, which is going to take communication on their part and uh, incredible coordination. You're basically good to go if you're bringing this eerie add-on. You didn't utilize this eerie add-on as well as you should have, in my opinion. You were you you basically just relied on RNG traps that set themselves. You basically got like lucky in a way. You know what I mean? <sighs> um, I have a lot of thoughts about this. I do. I have a lot of thoughts because you did things right. Like the things you did right, you did you did very well. But the things you did wrong, you did you you did very wrong. And some of the things you did wrong didn't really improve from the last match we saw because you're still being like modest about your traps. You know what I mean? You're you're still being very like reluctant. It seems uh, to play. Like how how long did you have this one trap in your inventory, dude? Like how long did you have this shit in your hands? God damn! Until you finally placed it, bro. This is like two minutes of you just holding a single trap around. What do you mean? Like, we need to we need to be on the go, bro. You need to be trapping in the middle of chase. Use that speed boost to jump back and chase. That's why they're giving you the speed boost, brother. You slap your trap down. You got the speed boost. You catch right up to the next tile. You collect the trap at that tile. You place it on that tile. You keep forcing them to rotate. Then when it's back time to rotate back to the gens that you just chased around, which won't be worked on because that's where you started at, all of those loops will be fully trapped. You see what I'm saying? You're just going to circle back, and now everything is trapped, and you trapped it uh, uh, while you were chasing. So you were killing two birds with one stone. You were occupying someone, likely injuring them, maybe even hooking them and trapping things simultaneously. You see what I'm saying? Just trapping on the go. You don't trap on the go, baby. But like, I want, uh, how, ma how many times did you place a trap down on this map? Did you place like what, four or five traps total? I mean, like R the RNG traps did, the RNG traps did all the work here. 
I'm not, I'm not saying this to knock you either. I'm just being honest. You know what I mean? I'm just being honest. I'm not saying this to knock you. I don't want you to think I'm just like shitting on like your, your good game. This was a good game. This was a good game, but, um, there's some, there's some, there's some issues here. There's still some issues. All right. I want you to get better. That's why I'm critiquing you so hard. Cause I want to see you do better, but I'm telling you now, when you get to that higher MMR, you're only devotion too. you're not there yet. Trust me. Uh, you're not there yet, but when you get there, you're going to have a wake up call. I'm telling you now, you're going to have a wake up call. You need, you're only as strong as however many traps you have placed around the map. You do realize if your traps aren't placed around the map and you don't have this eerie add on, you're just, you're probably the weakest killer in the game. Realistically, if you don't have that eerie add on and you don't have your trap, you're, you're as basic as it gets. You're just a normal M1 killer. You have no other thing going for you. So you need your traps placed. It is your power. It's your ability. But instead we're just like, eating god pallets that should be trapped anyways and at no point did we trap one of the most important pallets to to trap on the map which is that big truck but they didn't use it well in the first they just camped that pallet when they could have ran you on it probably at least two times so they played inefficiently and you played inefficiently as well you just played less inefficiently than them you know what i mean is that what we're going for we're going for like Oh, we both played bad, but you know, they played a little worse. Or are we going to go in for like, I knocked them out the goddamn park, but overall, good job. I mean, you did this with one perk. That's, that's good. I like to see that. That's, that's very good, but we, we, we gotta, you know, correct some of these, uh, fill in some of these gaps. You know what I mean? We gotta fill in some of these gaps in your game. And then I think you'll be a very promising trapper. 100%. I see a lot of potential here. Oh, I see a lot of potential. This is good. Oh yeah. This is real good. Yeah. Overall, I like this. I like this. This was a this was a fun match to watch. Wasn't this fun? This was like fun DVD. You know what I mean? Like it was just a fun experience for us all. So yeah, um, keep it up, man. Keep it up. I'm glad you've improved. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing you improve even more. Yeah. Wait, Rebecca was going for her adept. Oh my. Oh my God. <laughs>